Hello everyone and welcome back to Horsehaven! We are here in Hearthstone Village, Armhaunt, Hannah Ranch, getting ready for a very exciting day because today you guys, we're finally gonna do it! We're finally going to take our dream jewels and we are going to try to catch ourselves a fantasy horse. I was so amazed at how many of you already have almost all of the fantasy horses. I was very, very envious to see that, to be completely honest. And I am really looking forward to seeing if we will be able to use our dream jewels to get our very first fantasy horse. And there's so many to pick from and I think Think that when you use your dream jewels uh, for the first time and you happen to just get a uh, I think it's like a rare horse we might get the glimmering fairy horse for instance or the jade fairy horse or the standard unicorn I think those are like the first ones you start with and then you can breed your way up to all of these other ones all of the other fantasy horses and I'm not sure which one is entirely my favorite I think the amethyst fairy corn and the lava unicorn are the ones I like the most today but I tend to change like which ones are my favorite breed uh, day by day which is really kind of a fun way to do it but this is going to be our next big breeding goal and it's actually going to be something we can do to go along with breeding up for the constellation horses which is always fun but sometimes it's nice to have a break in what we do especially because the constellation horses have kind of been around for two years now so I'm very 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 happy to chase down some fantasy horses so that's what we're going to be doing but first things first we definitely need to take care of everything on our ranch and we're still trying to be able to get the uh, female Sagittarius year two so we need to see if we can snag a female we already have one of the male Sagittariuses in fact two of the male Sagittariuses Archer and then his little brother uh, is actually still sitting in the breeding house all these days later and the reason he's still there. Arr, I can't reach that. Ay, darn it. We'll have to leave that grass there. But the reason that Archer's brother, one of these constellation horses, the Sagittarius year two, is still in the breeding house is because I don't have any room. <laughs> we're full. Look at all of my stables. They are full. And so we're going to try to raise up a couple of these Dolhurst for diamonds. I've been doing really good. We're finally up over a thousand diamonds again. It really takes a lot of patience and persistence to advance uh, in Horse Haven, to be completely honest. Uh, the reason I have so much money up in the millions and the reason I have so many diamonds is because I'm slowly but steadily building up over a long period of time we've been playing for over a year now and that is honestly the way to success if you ask me you, you could buy your way through with real money and diamonds if you wanted to but if you really want to feel like yeah I've worked hard for something in horse haven then just be persistent with it it's kind of like any other project you might have in life so let's see if we can convince at least one of these dollars to get out of the stables already all of them are almost level 10. Oh, okay. So we may come back to these guys and try to just get them out and make a little bit of room in the stables before the end of the day. But now that we've taken care of that, I mean, I guess we can feed our beautiful black forest horse, Rose, as well. She's usually inside of the breeding house, giving birth to Dolehurst after Dolehurst, and occasionally a Sagittarius. She's done a very good job with that, too. So we'll go ahead and feed her and her mate really quickly, Hero and Rose. They've been doing very, very good for me, after all. And then we're gonna pop over to the French Ranch. We are going to take care of the horses at the French Ranch, and then we're gonna go on a cloud race really quickly. All right, let me gather those, let me check, and let's see. Dear horse breeder, we're sorry to inform you that the certificate for the tier four uh, Anglia Norman have run out, that's fine. I don't normally buy the uh, tier four, tier four p bits and pieces, but we will probably do some of those in the future. All right, did I get everything? Okay, good. Let's see, new video available, that's fine. All right, finally. All right, my mailbox is cleared out. Good, good, good. Let's check. Oh, look at that. Collect 3,000 coins in the Nordic steeplechase. Cool. I don't even know when I did that, but I'm glad I got it. And then daily quest, clean out the paddock 10 times, collect 300 coins, sell five honey crunchy, run the Brazilian steeplechase seven times, and harvest eight granola bars. Well, we can work on some of those things in a little bit, but let's come down here. What are the announcements? Peer breeding event is currently going on. And oh my goodness, there's some interesting looking tier fours. Let's go check out what the new tier fours are, you guys. All right, we're gonna pop over here. The Appaloosa, the, uh, the pony, <laughs> the pony has braids. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's kind of cute. And then look at the hair on this one. Now, those are some fancy little maid bra main braids that they've done. I don't even have the uh, Trekker. <laughs> I can never pronounce these names. I don't even have this one, but that's legendary rarity. That could be kind of fun to try to reach. Uh, let's see if I can get any of those sapphires. Good stamina on a horse for three hours. Let's yank somebody up out. Somebody out of, um, we'll use Fajar. 
I like to use horses that are in the stables for these kinds of quests because then you can earn, oh, oh, we do have one of the ponies, what? Oh my gosh, we have a whole bunch of these ponies. I totally forgot, Zoe, get on in there. We'll get Zoe over here and she can get us a couple emeralds. But these tasks for tier four are actually really useful if you don't want to unlock that particular tier or unlock that particular horse breed because you can still use them to get a whole bunch of gemstones and a little bit of the pure breeding rewards. I don't know if they're doing anything with that yet, but it's probably a good idea to collect it just in case they ever implement a system to use it in the future. All right, so let's see if Zoe manages to pass the horse identification or if she's secretly another type of pony. And the answer is her identity is confirmed and we got some emeralds as a result. Do I, oh, I have a tier two. Zoe, what tier are you? Oh my gosh, they were tier two. I didn't even know. Okay, now Zoe's going to go through another and she'll get us five emeralds, nice. Meanwhile, oh, we need a foal, a male foal cult in order to earn another emerald. So we'll have to see if we can get, ever get that Sagittarius out and then he can take over that for us. All right, and I definitely don't have any of these guys. Uh, Trekkiners, hmm. I'll have to try to breed up for those later. But I, right now I'm more focused on the Black Forest and some of the others. All right, come on, Zoe. I've got things to do, places to be, fantasy horses to snag. And there we go. Nice. So we managed to get quite a few emeralds just then. I love it. Free emeralds. All right. So the other thing we're going to do, and we're also going to check out this guy. All right. I need some muffins and I need some of the uh, turnip salads in order to unlock the dream jewels there. So let's see. We're gonna pop in here really quickly. I might check and see if we can buy muffins anywhere. Sometimes we can buy muffins from the treehouse or the carnival. All right, let's back up for a second. And you guys, I totally almost forgot that we do have Sakura and we, or Sakura the third. We now have Sakura the third, or second and Apple the third. So we actually have, can I move you over here? Yay! So we have our tier three Pisces, and that means that the second any of their babies are born, their babies will be tier three Pisces as well, and immediately worth 25 diamonds, which is really useful. So let's go ahead and get this little one, snag him right out of there. All right, Franco, you can go in there, and we can breed those two up, because constantly getting a whole bunch of high tier uh, constellation horses is a very, very good idea. There we go. Peer breeding event bonus. I probably should have saved that for another horse. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and have them breed. There are, all of their babies are going to be tier three, so we don't have to worry about what they may have. Just if it's a boy or a girl. Pisces year one, tier three. Dun, dun, dun. So exciting. And so when it is born, it'll be worth 25 diamonds immediately. But if we come in and take care of the foal, dun, 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 it'll be worth more diamonds. And so I like to imagine that's kind of what our business is, is raising these fantasy, or these lovely flowery horses. They're not fantasy horses yet though. All right, so enough dilly-dallying. Let me clear up this paddock. We'll check if we can somehow get the muffins um, from the carnival, because it doesn't look like I have any muffins available in our bakery. There we go, carnival. Muffins? Let's see, there's carrots available. Apparently, I have 100 pearls right now too, which is kind of exciting. And there's the cherry feed. So if we needed the cherry feed, that would have been available, but not the muffins, unfortunately. So we'll go ahead and get some muffins started. And it's probably gonna be a while. Yeah, it's not worth rushing to finish just for one dream jewel. All right, and then, oops, we'll have to get more corn. So we'll let those muffins go ahead. We'll ask for help. Franca, and let's see, Dylan and Steffi will help us make those delicious muffins. And then we'll zip over here. Ashley, Sonia, and Nadine are gonna help us with more of the muffins. That's some of you guys, which is really, really exciting. And whoops, I actually didn't wanna come feed him. Franco, I'm actually gonna send you out to the paddock if I can, little buddy. Eh, eh, no, Franco. Oh, dang it, he really wants his feed. I can't seem to reach him for some reason. There we go. I'm gonna have Shannon, Marvel, and Unknown, which could be any of you guys at level 27. Uh, take care of him and Apple the second. Are you high enough level now? Yeah, Apple the second will go ahead and sell for 73 diamonds. Oh my gosh, that's worth so much. Goodbye, Apple, go retire. Oh gosh, that's always hard, but we, we have to do it if we wanna have any room inside of our stables. All right, so enough of that dilly darling. We'll pop over here and I'm going to check if there's anything in our German ranch that we could use. We'll back up a little bit. The German ranch is where I want to actually have the fantasy horses go, but I'm a little bit full up on horses over here right now. So we may have to figure something out about this. Let me gather these up really quickly. 
We're gonna clear out the paddock so our horses are taken care of. It feels irresponsible, even if they're just pixelated horses, to be zipping off and trying to get a fantasy horse without taking care of them after all. All right, and we'll get our mines up and going. Wonderful, anything in the treehouse that I could use to get more dream jewels, let's check. Dun 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 dun. <gasps> what is this? Oh my gosh. I want it. I want it. I want it. I know it's going to cost me diamonds, but I want it. What is that ridiculously adorable little rainbow hat? Oh, that's too cute. Okay, I definitely want to get that. We'll buy the lettuce and we'll buy the grape feed because that, that'll be good. I'll buy this. Might as well. Um, and it's now in my warehouse. I Do I have... You guys, I'm going to do it. I know I should save it for dream jewels, but I want this ridiculous hat. I got it. <laughs> I got it. I don't even know exactly what I'm going to do with it, but I want that ridiculous hat. I want to put it on on Rose, I think. Rose? Yeah, maybe Rose. Who should wear that ridiculous hat? Maybe my Shires? I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure. I'm so excited. Oh, and we got a bunch of grape feed that we can gather up over here, too. Are any of you guys ready to be sold for diamonds? Because I just kind of shot myself in the foot there <laughs> by, by not keeping them and raising them for diamonds. Whoops, the dups. All right, Knight, you cannot be sold. Mackin, he may be kept. All right, so it looks like I've got Ivan um, that's almost to level 10. Ruby at level seven so i'll have to figure that out all right anywhere we'll just have to stick the fantasy horses inside of the french ranch then where am i gonna put that wonky donkey hat am i gonna stick it on rose i've got to see that hat it was too ridiculous i've never seen that hat before maybe it's actually just sitting inside of the wardrobe and i never noticed it before but it's so wonky come here little wonky donkey hat where'd you go all right let's see so it's gonna be there's that one um you guys, look at that. It's ridiculous. She's like, can it please get off my head? Oh, Rose, but it's so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, could she ever forgive me for putting that on her? I don't think so. I, I wanted it though. See, this is more like Rose. She can have a little Rose hat on for a while. Um, But yeah, I had to have that because that was just too funny. All right, so now let's go ahead and try to get the fantasy horses. Now that I have properly gone around in circles a few times and used up my diamonds. Ah, oh, dang it. It's rare that I get that overexcited. See, and now at least one of our dull horse is ready to be sold. Very clearly isn't worth as much as those constellation horses we're breeding. So sold for 17 diamonds. And now we can get the little baby. Ta-da! Oliver can go ahead. We'll get him out of his little spot and let's go ahead and try breeding up Rose and Hero once more. So there's Hero and then here's Rose and let's see if they can have a Sagittarius female or a fem or a male uh, Black Forest horse would be wonderful. And it's another Dolhurst. <laughs> That's just fine. All right, so we'll wait for that little baby to be born and let's go see what the fantasy horses have for us. We're gonna do this, you guys. <sighs> I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, but I think it'll be worth it because I've learned that you can only use a maximum of 10 gems at a time. So we're gonna try to befriend a fantasy horse. There is a 60% chance we can get a rare one, 20% chance of an elite, and a 20% chance that we will lose all of these dream jewels and be very, very sad, and we will not even get one fantasy horse. Oh. All right, let's do this. Oh my gosh. I'm almost dizzy with nerves. No, oh my gosh, <laughs> yes. I thought it was going to roll over to the diamonds. That's why I was like, no. Oh my gosh, you guys. Amber fairy horse. We just got a sweet racing horse. Uh, it's in the paddock. Oh my gosh, she's here. <gasps> Look at her tiny, teeny, itty bitty little wings, you guys. Hang on a second. I've got to, oh my goodness, you guys. Look at her teeny wings. They move. They move. She's so precious. Okay, we're going to have to sell one of the Dolhurst or maybe put our Sagittarius inside of um in inside of the stable for now. Look at her. She's so cute. Okay, let's do this, you guys. Oh, wow. I was not expecting that. We got the rarest one, too. Okay, Viking, can I raise you up really quickly to like level 10 and make room? This is exciting. This is very exciting indeed. All right, so Viking may be good. All right, then we're just gonna move Archer for now, I think. So I'm gonna put Archer inside of the Grand Stable. 
Oh, if there's room? Uh, Lydia, we'll go ahead and sell Lydia, because there, there should be room. There we go. And Archer, he'll come on over, because we have Zoe still. All right, and now we've got Kara. We need to rename her. I'm going to just go ahead and straight up name her Amber, because she is an Amber Fairy horse. And there she is. <gasps> you guys, look at her little wings. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they even flutter. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that. She's got tiny little butterfly wings. They remind me so much of Zelda from our Sims 3 series with our unicorn challenge we're doing right now. Look at her. Let's raise her up to level five so we can see what an adult looks like. And I think you can only breed them with other fantasy horses. And I'm kind of tempted to go ahead and take a risk and try getting a second fantasy horse today with our orange ones, with our orange gemstones. What do you guys think about that? <sighs> Using up five of these topaz jewels in order to try to get another fantasy horse. It would be a big gamble and I don't know if we would manage to pull it off, but I kind of want to try doing it. So let me clear those out of the way. Let me get some corn planted. Let's see if we can raise little Amber up. Maybe that would be pushing it, but I want to do it. I want to do it. We had some really great luck. So let's go ahead and feed Amber up. Oh my gosh, her little wings move and everything. This is so much fun. I want to see what she would look like as an adult because then we could breed her and whatever other fantasy horse is over here. Oh, that would be so cool. I definitely want to move him to the German ranch though because I feel like that's the perfect place for fantasy. So we'll move him to the German ranch ASAP. Look at her go. Wow. Okay. And she's going to want some grapes. Come on, little Amber. All right, we'll feed her up and then we will zip away and we will go and see if we can get another fantasy horse to wrap up the day because this is so exciting. All right, I definitely want to get her up to level five though. All right, so we'll be right back, Amber. I'm a little nervous, but we're going to go see if we can snag it. Oh, wait, I don't think we can. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Now we have to wait two days before we can even try to get another fantasy horse. So, all right, that's happening. Might as well go pick some fresh grapes for Amber. So that will give me time to save up and time to try to get some more of the fantasy jewels. But that means that next week we'll be able to try getting another fantasy horse, which is very exciting if you ask me. Also, so many of you want corn. What is with this? Everybody over here wants corn. But this is where I do want to move our fantasy horses to because I just think this is perfect for them. I also want to start coating pretty much every available spot in the entire German ranch in clovers. So we would have just these clover patches everywhere I can possibly put them I think that would be really fun too and it's kind of a way to show off your wealth because clovers cost pearls to get so it would be a little bit tricky but I think we could pull it off all right so go let's go finish raising amber we'll raise her up to level five I will make room for her in the German ranch and then next time we come back I should have a few more dream jewels from running the races every day and we should hopefully be able to get amber a companion of some sort and hopefully, Amber, we will get a male fantasy horse, or else I will be sad news. <laughs> sad news bears. Oh, it's Amber's a boy! What? You guys are probably laughing so hard at me right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Amber, hmm. What should I name him? Not Amber Chris, of all things. All right, so we need to name him something. Goldenrod. Let's go with Goldenrod, because that's a type of flower, and I think that sounds nice. Goldenrod. Goldenrod. There we go. All right, so we have Goldenrod, and he is quite attractive looking. And we should go look for, um, you can be pretty too if you want Goldenrod. I, you could be whatever adjective you desire. But we will go looking for other fantasy horses that other people may have at some point in the near future too. And I need to work on my list again, my horse haven the list of horses that our companions, our friends have. All right, so Goldenrod just needs a little bit of strawberries and then he'll be ready to grow up. And let's go ahead and feed some cheery feed. Oh, I don't have enough. Abia, I need to get more cherry feed for you. Well, you can go out. Ah, no. Dang it. Uh, it's easy to misclick. All right. Oh, wait. Over here, I might be able to get uh, Viking. Gosh darn. I don't have enough red feed either. Well, I need to really correct this. All right. So we'll get some red feed up and going. All right. Need more grass. There we go. More red feed. Ever since we've started selling some of our feeds to, um, to the Wrangler for the dream jewels. It's a little bit hard to keep up with the demand. All right, there we go. Oh, and it looks like, looks like Goldenrod is ready for more of his food. Let me go ahead, get down here. There we go. 
So let's go ahead and feed him these strawberries. And that is going to be enough, I think, you guys, to put him right over the edge and turn him in. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. We're going to have our very first fantasy horse. Look at the wings flap. And... <gasps> has got big giant wings, big giant beautiful butterfly wings. I never knew I would be so excited about a horse with butterfly wings, but this is really lovely. All right, buddy. I mean, look at that. It is so fun to watch him flap them. Oh my goodness. So here we go, you guys, our very first fantasy horse, tier one, no less. And so our next goal will be to send him over to the German ranch and to raise up quite the interesting herd of fantasy horses in our German ranch. I hope you guys, if you happen to be friends with me and you have a fantasy horse female, will happily be able to come and try to snag uh, maybe a foal. And if you manage to get a foal from Goldenrod, do please let me know about it because I absolutely love to know uh, how the lineage of our horses goes. So that was pretty good luck for today, you guys. I'm going to send, look at his wings, that is so cool. I'm gonna send him out to walk around the paddock with some of our other horses for now. And then I will work on gathering up diamonds, collecting dream jewels, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.